about to enter into the sugar factory. Celebration of my 50th birthday. First time here since August of 19, 2019. And have a guarantee. Ready. You should do it at the end. Let's say the end. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think it's in here. Let's see, roll. Let's see, roll to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the front. Sorry, to the front. Dip, baby, dip. Dip, baby, dip. Reese's Pieces? Let's see, roll. Let's see, roll. Kenny Core. The front, the front. Dip, baby, dip. Dip, baby, dip. Yeah, everybody else. Everybody else. Everybody else.
Oh yeah. Hell with that Oh, good, good. Oh, good. I had a great time ending my 50th birthday celebration with a bang at the Sugar Factory. If I would give the restaurant a rating out of five stars, I would give it a four. My blue cheese bacon cheeseburger and fries were delicious. The cut I'll build down, I share everything with my wife. My mango fruit peach goblet drink was also very delicious. The reason why I wouldn't rate, rate the Sugar Factory with the five full stars is because of it. I really love the fact that as our waitress was pouring the drink in my cup, it started to bubble and smoke. Like any other restaurant, my drink came before my meal. And to avoid gulping it all down beforehand, I took a few sips of it at first, saving the rest when my food came and while eating it. I had paper straws, therefore it easily broke and had a hard time sipping it. Later during my meal, I saw, I saw that the drink was still bubbling, assuming it was, being, it was liquefying, but, but it was doing the opposite. It was at a freezing stage. Therefore, that was why and when I had a hard time sipping it then at that point. I figured if I took out the ice, I should be able to drink some of the contents. Found out my drink, that's when I found out my drink was completely frozen. My wife and I were able to at least chop the ice up and at least try to get some of the, my money's worth. We ate it frozen and I was able to eat the gummy candies that were also frozen to the ice also. To get, the smoke, to get my drink to smoke, the ice in my cup were, dr were dried ice and our waitress was pouring the liquid drink on it that was I was assuming would cause the smoking effect. Therefore, the liquid over time became frozen. On the menu, it, the cost of the drink was $46. I was charged $36, because, I'm assuming because it was $10 less because I ordered it without the alcohol. To make the long, my long story short, being that those goblet drinks quickly froze, those type of drinks were way too overpriced. Therefore, I was charged $16. I would, if I was charged $16 instead of the 36, that's when I would give the restaurant the five stars. The food and milkshake would seem too expensive, but in all actuality, they were worth it. The service and the ambiance was excellent, and who appeared to be the manager entertained us for a bit during and, and at the end of our meal. With the automatic service charge of 15%, our waitress, Azaria, told me that the fee was split up between all the staff, which is a bummer. Because of her excellent service, I had to give her something extra. I would visit the Sugar Factory again, but it will have to be on a few occasions. I don't mind visiting the candy shop again because there's so much to choose from. I don't mind buying a couple of items there as well. But as far as dining at the restaurant, I don't think I would do that on a regular basis.